Subscribe to our YouTube channel for future updates. Yeah, you almost done with that right there? Yeah, I'm done right here. That's what I'm talking about. Coming through. Now, hold up. I ordered scrambled eggs, and y'all sent me two boiled eggs. <laughs> no, I ain't gonna put it in no blender. Don't look young. Christian woman. Goodbye. Man, that ain't even cool. Messing up your order like that. Yeah, tell me about it. But I'm hungry. I, 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 you know, hard-boiled eggs causes colic. And sometimes salmonella poisoning. Really? Mm-hmm, that's what I heard. Ooh, um... Here, can you get rid of this for me? Sure, no problem, girl. <laughs> mm -hmm. I thought you said boiled eggs get you sick. No, sir. I know you Christian and all, but you can't be listening to everything everybody tell you. <laughs> hey, buddy, you can't come in here. Oh, no, this is my office. I'm, I'm Pastor Jones. Oh, and I'm supposed to believe that? <laughs> You got ID? <laughs> Just kidding, Pastor. <laughs> what, what's going on here? The board started with the remodeling, Pastor. How long are they going to be here? <laughs> we might need a prayer, Pastor. <laughs> I mean, they're trying to turn my little church into a nightclub. I mean, seriously, you go to any church on Sunday mornings, it's starting to turn into a, a dating line. Everybody coming for the hookup, coming for the, for the, for the cake. The faith-based market is the next big thing. Hollywood's tapping in. I mean, everyone from uh, Mel Gibson to Tyler Perry. And there's a real spiritual revolution going on here. Yeah, I, I have noticed a lot more faith-based movies at Walmart. Exactly. See, we're in the branding business. That's what we do. And Pastor Jones needs to become a household name. Well, I... I no, you I, know what? That's beside the point. We are in the era of mega. Mega! You gotta think big, big, big! Think, uh, Jake's. Think Creflo. O Osteen. Think, think... Denzel. Denzel? Denzel isn't a preacher. Yeah, but he's planning on playing one in a movie. <laughs> You're young, you're handsome, and I am certain that Allah has a plan for you. Allah? I'm not Muslim. No, Allah's my partner, handles endorsements. <laughs> and I'm not gonna kid you, you know, we're not CAA or William Morris or any one of these big glitzy Hollywood agencies here, but we think big. Big, big, big! <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Gernstein. Uh, look, we're a small community church, and, and I appreciate you contacting us and, and coming all the way down here, but... We're fine just the way we are. I see. Well, I can definitely tell you're a man of integrity, Pastor. But I'm, uh, I'm gonna leave you my card anyway. Because you are a star, if I've ever seen one. <laughs> Your two o'clock is here, Pastor. Remember, thank Denzel. Is Denzel coming here? <laughs> oh, I gotta go get my hair done. Look, I usually have the first draft by now. I don't know, maybe you have something special planned. <laughs> maybe Pastor Jones is gonna freestyle a sermon this weekend. <laughs> He's our pastor, Alex, not Jay-Z. <laughs> I'm just saying. All I wanna know is how long we gonna have to wait on this sermon. I mean, it took God only seven days to build the heaven and the earth. As a matter of fact, it took the Hebrew lights less time to cross the desert. 
It took Oprah Winfrey less time to lose weight. Good morning. Uh, sorry I'm late. Good morning, President. Good morning, morning. All right. Um, the first item on the agenda is last month we moved to hire Patriots Renovation to begin work in the interior offices and replacing the molding in the sanctuary. Um, we forgot to tell you they started in your office first, Pastor. Thank you. <laughs> um, second item. <clears throat> this Sunday's upcoming sermon. Yes, uh, Pastor Jones, uh, <clears throat> about the sermon, uh, <clears throat> Charles wants to know why this sermon ain't ready. <laughs> well, as many of you know, uh, my process for writing the week's sermon is usually dictated by what our Lord moves me to write. Uh, yes, we understand that, Pastor, but we... Well, and he's been a bit slow in moving me this week. Are you saying you haven't heard from the Lord this week, Pastor? <laughs> no, Alex, that's not what I'm saying. Thank you. What I'm suggesting is that um, yeah, I'm experiencing a little blockage. It happens from time to time. Um, but I'll have it for you tomorrow. Is there anything else? No. 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 No, no Pastor. Sometimes in life we are challenged and confronted with transition. Sometimes in life we are confronted and challenged with change, having to change from the whether that change be moving to a new place and leaving behind old ways. I don't know. It, it's Wednesday and I still don't have a sermon. Oh, I'm sure you'll come up with something, honey. I, I don't know. I, usually I'm several pages into it by now. Well, you know how these things go with time and age. Sometimes it just takes a little longer. Yeah, I guess you're right. Wait, did you just call me senile? <laughs> no. Oh, baby, you got a lot on your mind. Sometimes that just causes a person to be a little less clear-headed. No, not when it comes to God's message. I'm always clear about that. You know, I've been clear about it for years. Except this week. Oh, I'm sure you'll come up with something great. You always do. <laughs> you know, they warned us about this in seminary, you know that a pastor's greatest fear is not having that sermon ready to impart in his flock by Sunday. Who told you that? I don't remember. <laughs> Honey, could you get that? Sure. Good afternoon. Pastor Jones. Look here, my name is CeeLo, and this is uh, my bottom, I, I mean, uh, my wife, Sugar. Nice to meet you, Mr. CeeLo, Miss Sugar. How can I help you? Well, look here, uh, <laughs> we just moved in next door. We your new neighbors. <laughs> So we really just thought this would be a uh, great opportunity for us to introduce our sound. Well, uh, welcome to the neighborhood. Thank you. Oh, what line of work exactly are you in, Mr. Uh, CeeLo? <laughs> well, you ain't got to be so formal with it, baby. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Uh, Miss Pastor Lady. Um, I'm in what you call a... Uh, property management. <laughs> oh, so you guys are into buildings? I've been into a lot of buildings. <laughs> With the uh, economy down like it is, uh, the real estate business is really uh, not really that good in Chicago right now. Oh, so you sold them? No, nah, more like foreclosures. <laughs> I'm sorry to hear that. No, nah, it's okay, because I was looking for a career change. I'm trying to bring more positivity into my life. I was thinking about joining the church, maybe yours. Oh, well, oh, Mr. De Celo, um, <clears throat> well, the Lord will lead it your heart to his house of worship. Thank you, Pastor. Hey, look here, we don't want to take up too much more of your time, you know what I'm saying? So we're going to get on out of here. Yeah, time is money. 
I mean, <laughs> seeing that you're a pastor and all. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, Allah, this guy's the real deal. And I looked him straight in the eyes, and they don't lie. Really? He's got a soul, you know? It's like I knew him. There was a real connection there. How old is he? I have no idea. Carla! Yeah, I need some flowers sent to this Pastor Jones. Make him the good ones. A flower service. Walmart. <laughs> Do you really think this guy's the next big thing, Ari? I think with the right type of marketing, we can turn his church of 250 people into 250,000. I mean, think about it. Uh, bottled holy water, book deals, I mean, the endorsements. Speaking engagements. Exactly. You know, there's Megafest, the Azusa festivals and revivals. I'm telling you, this guy's the next big thing. So, when is he signing? Well, he doesn't want it. He doesn't want to. Oh, this guy's not your typical run-of-the-mill flashy preacher types. This guy's a bona fide star. He's not interested in fame or money? No. Are you sure he's a preacher? 100%. I'm not through with him yet. I don't know, honey. There's something a little odd about our new neighbors. What's that, honey? They just don't strike me as real estate people. I was thinking the same thing. It got my spidey senses tingling. Well, I guess it's not for us to judge. Sister Carol Jensen asked that I pray for her. Oh, is she okay? Ah, she's fine. She has a big day tomorrow. You know, big job interview as a chef. Ask for some extra blessings. Oh, I, I tasted Sister Jensen's food. She needs a little bit more than prayer. <laughs> oh, please. Miss Jensen is the biggest gossiper in church. Do you remember last year when she spread that rumor about Deacon Charles that he couldn't have any children? I mean, that's not so bad. He has nine of them. <laughs> in college. <laughs> I'm sure she meant nothing by it. Lord, thank you for the generosity and the blessings you have given us on this day. We are blind without your light and feeble without your embrace. I ask that you continue to bless my church, my family, and our wonderful congregation. Oh, and Lord, give Ms. Jensen some extra help. <laughs> Especially with the mashed potatoes. Less salt on the vinegar. And Lord, help her get the funk out the black eyed peas. Help her tomorrow. Amen. Good night, honey. Oh, good night, honey. Sometimes in life we are confronted and challenged with transition, okay. <clears throat> Sometimes in life, we are... Good morning, pastor. Not now. <laughs> I was gonna tell you, he painted your door. Good morning, pastor. Did I tell you they painted your door? Thanks. Alex, is there something I can help you with? Yeah, just wondering when you were going to have a copy of the sermon for us. Actually, no, I'm still working on it. No, it's okay, it's okay. I'll keep it on the low, low. It's between you and me. Just until you have it. Alex, it's, it's not that big a deal. I mean, it's a little blockage, but, but, but 
I'm praying on it. I, I know. Okay, Pastor. Okay. Uh, Alex. Yes. Everyone else is fine, right? I mean, there is no panic. No, all's quiet. No one's panicking at all. No one. So, uh, Pastor. We're panicking. <laughs> Any more delay, we're just not gonna have time to review this properly. No, no, no. We, we've never had to wait this long for a printed copy of a sermon. Exactly. What are we gonna do? We, we need a plan B. I mean, B plan, plan, plan B. Plan B, B. <laughs> Whatever plan we need. Now. Calm down. Calm down, everybody, okay? I'll, I'll have it for you this afternoon. Please. Pastor Jones. Pastor Jones, Ari Gernstein. Oh, oh, hello, Mr. Gernstein. How can I help you? Well, actually, I think I can help you. Something came through my door today, and I automatically thought of you. It's a uh, commercial for God's Way. <laughs> God's Way? No, no, I, I, I don't think I'd be interested. Uh, it's a non-profit organization for the starving children in Africa. <laughs> You're a good man, Pastor. I know you want to let those poor kids down. Where does it shoot? Crenshaw. <laughs> Crenshaw? But I thought you said it's for starving kids in Africa. Yeah, well, with the economy and all, the advertisers thought it would be the same thing to film African-American kids. <laughs> oh, I see. Yeah, no one will know the difference. <laughs> well, I guess it's, it's, it's for a good cause. I'll have to get back to you with my schedule. All right. I'm looking forward to it, Pete. All right, you take care. Carla? Uh, yeah, I need an immediate casting call for a bunch of black kids, preferably African-looking. Would you like name talent? Uh, good thinking. See what Gary Coleman's been doing these days. <laughs> That's, that, no, no, that, that's not really, I, I don't do that. No. Oh. <clears throat> Pastor, there was some things I did want to share with you. You, you didn't paint the pews, did you? Oh, oh no, 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 Pastor, it, it ain't nothing like that. Actually, uh, it's about my wife, you know. I've been wanting to talk to her about something, but I haven't had the courage to do so. Well, th the truth will set you free. I mean, I think every woman uh, needs loyalty from a man, but equally as important is honesty. No, I mean, no, it ain't, it ain't about no other woman or nothing like that. <laughs> you know, it, it, the problem is, you know, I've been a handyman painter for a long time now. And I'm ready to do something different. Well, what do you want to do? I want to be an R&B singer. <laughs> I want to be sexy. <laughs> just like that. Just like that. Check that out. Yeah, you can't bring it back in the church. <laughs> Not even on Saturday. <laughs> oh. <laughs> but ne nevertheless, Pastor, I, I feel that you know. Even though I'm paying, it's paying all the bills and everything, and and you know I'm making a way for me and my wife. You know I feel like my opportunity is like fading away right now. Well, I think you should follow your heart, and I think you should pray on it. At the end of the day, you have to listen to your inner voice. I like that, Pastor. I appreciate you for that. Thank you, Pastor. Follow your inner voice. 
like that. Um, Pastor, you mean your singing voice? <laughs> no, your inner voice. <laughs> right. I, 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 yeah, I still got you. Okay, I got you. Inner voice. So you know I had to find out. Oh, now, Mama, I told you to leave those people alone. Tanya, I watch TV. Crazy people hanging out in unsuspecting neighborhoods, changing their identities. You never can be too sure these days about who's moving next to you. So what'd you do? I rang the doorbell. Yes, I introduced myself and told them that I am part of the Community Watch organization and I needed their signature. Signature for what? Fingerprints. <laughs> the pen that they used and had it dusted. Oh, where'd you do that, Mom? Downtown. Mr. Baker from my Thursday night bingo. He used to work at the forensics lab. Mama, stop. Hmm. They're fine. No matches. <laughs> Hey, Mrs. Scully. I was just leaving. Oh, by the way, did you get a chance to meet our new neighbors? Yes, they're clean, no matches. <laughs> Your Bible. Bye, sweetheart. Bye, Mama. Mm -hmm. That woman is getting stranger by the day. <laughs> Honey, how was your day? Oh, hectic. You know, they're still painting the office. It's going to take them another week or so. Oh, honey, I'm so sorry. That must be so inconvenient for you. Hey, but I did get a commercial offer from that agent. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. You going to go for it? Well, you know, it's for a good cause. It's African children in Crenshaw. <laughs> <laughs> it's the sir. That's right, all of it. It just came to me. Oh, baby, how wonderful. Y you know what I realized, Tanya? What? That God is great. <laughs> yes, he is. Sometimes in life we are confronted and challenged with transition. Having to do things differently from what we are accustomed to doing. Hallelujah. But we must have faith whether that change be moving to a new place and leaving behind old ways, or whether that change is grappling with our own inner comfort zone and being forced to dig deeper for that inspiration. Or maybe, just maybe, change forces us to reach for something bigger something greater. Hallelujah.